Lou Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the preparing for New York Fashion Week vlog. It's that time of year y'all. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right you guys, as you can see, I'm back to my natural do. I love it. My hair is super healthy. I'm like ecstatic with it. Um, so a few days ago I took out my braids. They're kind of, they were kind of like mermaid braids. Previously I used to get the braids that were like bohemian and the natural, the human hair was curly. This time I went with the just wavy because I wanted like a mermaid look. That's the difference between the braids that I had uh, previously like during the summer and the ones that I just had. One of the hair textures is curly, the other hair texture is wavy and I think I prefer the wavy better so we'll get that again come summertime uh, but yeah natural hair in effect I actually did um, a twist out last night not last night like two nights ago and look at the definition you guys see that I mean it's a definition for me so I ended up washing my hair I want to show you what products I use because I do get this question quite a bit um, nine times out of ten, I love using Aveda uh, products because it's plant-based. Again, I'm really trying to switch all of the products that I put on my body and my hair um, to clean plant-based products, including my makeup. But I've been using Aveda for years. Um, I'm actually on their PR list, and they keep your girl laced. My favorite is the Nutra Plenish Shampoo with deep moisture and conditioner also deep moisture they have different levels of moisture they have light moisture as well but especially after i take my braids out i need the deep moisture so i start with the shampoo i shampoo probably like twice maybe sometimes even three times to make sure my scalp is cleansed of all the buildup after having my hair in braids for so long and then i go ahead and do a deep condition i get out of the shower <laughs> i put a bag over my head um this is the avita botanical repair a uh, mask and intense rich this is such a great mask especially if you're taking your hair out of a protective style do this mask for about 20 25 minutes your hair will be so soft your curls will return um, i know after having your hair stretched for months that it can be hard to get your curl pattern back but this gets it back with the quickness and then i rinse that out and i still do a little conditioner as well and rinse that out now while my hair is is wet I spray in the Nutra Plenish Leave-In Conditioner. This is amazing from Aveda as well, plant-based. And then I just went ahead and put two strand twists all over my hair, maybe like a medium size, so you can see how defined the curls are. And I use, actually this isn't the pattern one I use. <laughs> I use the gel one with firm hold, this one. So I just recently got this from Sephora. So I use Pattern Strong Gel, just a little bit of this. And I think I mixed it with something else, maybe a little bit of this. I think I mixed them together uh, to get like kind of a creamy yet slick base. And then I twisted my head all over, went to sleep, woke up and took the twist out uh, today. So I'm loving how it looks. And I just put it up into a little poof. So yeah, I'm really excited to have my, my hair back out because it's been so long since I've seen it and it's doing really well. Uh, but I am going to get a, another hairstyle, you'll see it soon, for New York Fashion Week. Um, I don't want to have to manipulate my hair every day, curl my hair every day, it's not for me. Uh, but we'll see about that in the coming days, I'll probably vlog that as well. So that's my hair care routine, I've linked all the products down below. I'm about to film some a reel for Walmart. I actually love Wal working with Walmart because they have such good stuff. Okay, they have home decor items. They have beauty items. That's where I get sometimes stock up on my JLo Promise perfume that I wear all the time. Um, they have some super cute sweaters. Some that are like $12, $13, girl, and they go up to a size 5 XL. So I'm going to link all of my favorite products currently that I'm loving from fashion to beauty to home decor um, from Walmart down in the description box. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the stories. Uh, but I need to film a reel and it has to go live today. 
So that's what we're about to do. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unbox some of the things, do the reel, and then I'll show you guys. In fact, I'll probably insert the reel, then I'll show you guys the stuff. But that's what's on the agenda for today. And then I'm going out to dinner tonight um, with my friend. Uh, I haven't seen him in forever. And yeah, we need to catch up on life. <laughs> so that will be what's happening today. I think tomorrow I'll show you guys a bunch of new in designer and fashion items that I got in that I will probably incorporate into my looks for New York and Paris Fashion Week. So without further ado, let's get started. Get your coffee, get your tea, get your wine, get your snacks, because it's going to be a good one. In partnership with Walmart, I'm excited to share some new in home decor and fashion pieces. Note to self, order a box cutter from Walmart. First up, we have this $14 decanter. I've always wanted one and love the little wooden ball stopper. Next up, we have this wooden vessel that's perfect for freshly cut monstera leaves. I'm a sucker for a good vessel. And how cute is this mini crock pot that comes in four aesthetic colors? Ready to make corned beef and cabbage for one. Now for the fashions, this sweater is everything. It's super cozy and it's so good. I got it in gray as well. By the way, I'm wearing a large. That's it for now. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that reel, but I wanted to show you up close and personal the products that I got. Starting with this sweater, it is everything. I got it in a size large. I think it comes in eight colors. I got it in this chocolate brown as well as a light gray. The gray hasn't arrived yet, but the brown is everything. I ended up getting it in a large so it could be nice and oversized. And I can like tuck it into things or wear it with like biker shorts and it still covers my bum. I'm five foot six inches tall and the large fits pretty well. You could probably wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to. And the quality is really good. It's not itchy at all. It's kind of thick and weighty and such a great price from Walmart. I think it's like 27 bucks. So yeah, I had to get the gray one as well because I have a few looks in mind for New York Fashion Week where I wanna wear gray looks. It does have a little like banding down at the bottom as well as on the sleeves. But yeah, oh, I'm loving brown. I wanna do some brown looks for Fashion Month as well. Great sweater, I'll link it down below. There's some amazing sweaters. There's one with a cutout on the shoulder that's on sale for $13 goes up to a 5XL, it's in black. I have that one too. I just don't know where it is. I think I took it to New York. Uh, but that one is amazing. They have such great workout gear. They have this brown, like a, a golden brown, a sports bra with matching uh, leggings for like working out. Super cute, I'll link that as well. But let me show you the home decor things that I got from them. First up, I got this decanter. I hope you guys can see me. The light is going a little bit in and out. So I got this decanter. I've always wanted one. And this one was $14. Yes. I almost paid like $50 for one from CB2. I saw this at Walmart. Came in two days, y'all. Uh, it is beautiful. So the base is glass. And then it has a beautiful brown ball at the top that like is a stopper for it this is heavy by the way and solid but how cute is this for 14 dollars uh i can't wait to like open a bottle of something and pour it in here and let it like rest before serving my guests i'm probably gonna have some more girls nights in um i've had quite a few where i did shark charcuterie boards and things and like how cute would this look on the table with wine inside or even rosé and then I'll pour it into the glasses from here. It's a vibe, you gotta create a moment, okay? This will look so good on a tablescape as well. So I will link that down below for you guys. And in addition to that, I got this. This is a little um, plant potter. I don't plan on using this for real flowers because it is like wooden. It does have a little, does it have a little hole at the bottom? It has a tiny hole at the bottom. So you could technically put dirt in this and like plant something in it for your home. But I'm probably just gonna put like fake flowers in here or uh, pompous grass or like dried out flowers, like roses and such in here just to make like a cute vibe. Like I love a good, 
you know, wooden moment. In fact, this would look really good on my staircase while I have uh, my pompous grass in this huge flower pot from CB2. And then I have a little glass CB2. This will look so good because I'll have glass, porcelain, and then wood. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this little section here, right at the top of my stairs, with artwork from West Elm, Marl Hoffman collection. This huge vase is from CB2 and this glass yellow vase is from CB2. I usually put a huge monstera leaf in there. Um, but like, if I put this here, it's like a little triad. Like how freaking cute is that? Cause you have the black porcelain, the brown wood and the yellow glass. I actually really like that. I just have to get something to put into this and another huge green monstera leaf to just play off the colors in this cool little corner. And like every time I walk up here to go to my office, I just feel like super zen. I'll be sure to link all of these products from CB2. I believe this sold out unfortunately, but the pompous grass I get from a particular seller on Etsy. Um, and I always get a bunch of 10 in the tallest size. And it's not like that little wispy um, pompous grass. This pompous grass is stiff um, and it rarely like sheds, which is why I love it. It's not the little wispy ones that won't stand up. This is nice and stiff and super tall. So yeah, how cute. I'll be sure to link this from uh, Walmart. And last but not least, I got a crock pot, y'all. Look at this mini crock pot. It's so cute and little. The thing is with this townhouse, I don't have a lot of counter space or storage space for kitchen things. And so I wanted a crock pot, but I wanted a little one. Plus I'm only cooking for myself, so there's no need to have a huge crock pot. So if there's like a piece of meat I want to slow roast in here, I can do it. Uh, I cannot wait to make, um, like corned beef and cabbage with this. I could put a, a big chunk of corned beef meat in here, let it just sit it, set it and forget it, let it cook for like four or five hours. And some cabbage, ooh, I haven't had corned beef and cabbage in so long. But how cute is this? I love the aesthetic color of it, that it has a little tiny handle. And if you twist off the top, let me show you guys how to, get inside is it righty tighty lefty loosey oh my gosh why is it so tight well i'm gonna have to consult a man to get this top off because i just can't do it um <laughs> it was very easy to open it earlier but it does have like a little oven on the inside as you can see it has a little portable plug here on the side and the plug is right here it like wraps around the bottom and it's stored easily so i could just pop this off plug it into here and then plug the actual plug into the wall so that it works. And what I love about this is it's so mini and cute, but it can store a big portion of meat. Um, it also comes in a ton of cute aesthetic colors. I went for this like mauvey brownish type of color, but I think they have it in black, like a matte black, they have it on white. They have it in a ton of different colors and it was, it was on sale. I think this was like 30 bucks. Y'all know I'm on my cooking right now. I'm just loving cooking. I've been mostly cooking cooking breakfast foods and maybe like a huge dinner. But I'm gonna cook in this for y'all and it's gonna be great. So I'll link this down below. So those were pretty much all the things that I featured in the reel. Although I have like more things coming, it just didn't come in time. All right, but yeah, sweater is everything. I will link all the things that I'm loving from Walmart down below. Almost every single thing is under $40. So yeah, if you're looking for Valentine's Day gifts, Galentine's Day gifts, some super cute like Valentine's Day dresses, um, winter sweaters, workout gear, and home decor items and kitchen items, just head down to my Walmart favorites in the, the description box. Or just follow me on Shop Like to Know It because that's what I'm working with through this campaign. Uh, yeah, I actually really enjoy working with Walmart. So that's it for my work for today. I actually just posted a blog post on my blog. Um, it's the guide to Tulum that you all have been asking for. I went to Tulum recently. It was 
amazing. Every place I went, ate, where I stayed, what I did, what I wore, all of it is in the guide to Tulum post. So if you're thinking about going to Tulum, head over to my blog, fashionstealnyc.com, shameless plug, and check it out. Also, you guys, thank you so much. I think in the last, not the last video, but maybe the last vlog, I talked about a blog post I wrote <laughs> about um, being my age and being childless and being unmarried. And I mean, wow, the response I got to that blog post alone and even the YouTube video where I kind of cried about it. Um, I wasn't crying about it. I was crying in, in the response to just how supportive all of you were. I'm 100% I'm fine with not having children or never having a husband. Um, I'm not going to speak that over my life, but if if that happens then that's god's plan and i'm very happy and very fulfilled i know that the title threw a lot of people off but did y'all see how many people watched that video in the first day like more than ever before so i really need to work on my titles for videos like so that people are more interested that title was attention grabbing whether it was for positive or negative reasons but if you watched till at least the 15th minute of the video you saw why I titled the video that. But yeah, I'm on my Zoom, y'all. I'm on my Zoom. I tried a new powder today from MAC Studios, and I do not like it. I tried a new setting powder under my eye, and it just, it doesn't work. It has a flashback, a horrible one, which is weird because it's MAC Studio Fix Translucent Powder. I gotta go back to my Laura Mercier, y'all. The Laura Mercier translucent powder is the truth. And the Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep, the brown one, is such a great set, like setting powder for your makeup. If you're a brown girl. So I think that's it. Oh, let me show you one other thing I got. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's the Bible, the King James Version. And it comes in pink leather. How cute is this? So I do have another Bible, but it's in New York and I keep meaning to bring it here every time I go to New York and I forget every time, every single time. So I just went ahead and bought one for here. Um, and I'm already on my uh, 100 days to read the Bible um, quest. I have read the Bible before, but I need to read it again. <laughs> so, your girl is gonna be on her word, don't worry. Um, but yeah, I love that this Bible specifically has a, not a 100 days, but how to read the Bible in one year. It breaks up like all the chapters and then you have like a Bible study. So it's really cool. I will, this is way better than the Bible that I have in New York. So I'm really excited to like dig in. I've already kind of started the plan for getting through it for um, in a year's time. And being able to, you know, contemplate the messages and review the messages that I'm learning from each section that I'm reading. So it's really cool. And I also love that the text is big. I mean, I can see, but I can't read and be straining my eyes too. But it's such a beautiful Bible. Like the pages are golden. You have the little chapters the little sections there's even maps of everything and like a study guide it's really cool um and very affordable so i'll be sure to link this down below this is the king james um version if anyone is interested but like how how freaking cute such a cute bible mm. i'm about to be on my zoom my bible zoom just me and god Okay, you guys, so that's it for now. I need to go ahead and edit the reel. I mean, you've seen it already, but in real time, I haven't edited it yet, and it's due today. It gotta go up today, probably around seven, and it's five o'clock now. And then I need to get ready to go to dinner with my friend. We're going to Chotomate. Cho I've taken you guys there before. It's not too far on Lincoln Road. It's super cute on the inside, and they have the best dessert. Mm. And I've been good. I've been on my Zoom. I've been on my workout. I've been on my eating healthy. So I'm getting dessert tonight. The dessert is going to be a bop. I need to figure out what to wear too. So I only have two hours and 30 minutes to edit this reel, 
post it um, and get myself ready and then head to dinner. All right? Yeah. So I'll check in with you guys soon. I love y'all. If I haven't told y'all, like, y'all, y'all are the best. Okay? Y'all give me life. Like, you guys really motivate me to, like, be on my Zoom and be the best that I can be. And hopefully it rub off or, you know, you learn something and it's not just all fluff over here. All right. I've linked that Bible from Amazon down below. It came overnight. Gotta love Amazon. All right, guys. See you soon. All right, guys. It's been a long day. I finally got to my reel up, edited, and done. Um, I got dressed. I am wearing this two-piece set from Meshki. It's super cute. It's like a maxi skirt and a matching top. I'm a little backlit, but this is the look. It's almost like a nudie, like grayish brown. It's not really coming across that color on screen. Um, but yeah, this is a two-piece set with a, ma a long maxi skirt that I got in a small. And then the top I got in a medium. It is long sleeved. I love the sleeves. How cute is this? And I love how this part here is curved. Can you tell? It goes like that. Super cute set from Meshki. They actually sent this to me as a gift. I have a few more items from them that I will probably show you in this video or the next video. I have on my Tiffany Link earrings, my Saint Laurent jacket, and my little Chanel pearl mules. I'm gonna be walking a bit. And I'm gonna carry my little clutch from YSL as well. Tonight's fragrance is the Jennifer Lopez Promise. So I'm heading to dinner with uh, my neighbor. We're gonna catch up and then I'm not sure. I might go get some drinks afterwards. We shall see. But it's actually like 60 something degrees in Miami right now. So I can definitely wear my leather coat. <laughs> I love when I have the chance to do that. Anywho, that's the look. I will link the set. It's very affordable. It might even be on sale. It's definitely giving like Saint Laurent, a Saint Laurent look. And let's go to dinner at Choto Mate. It is a brand new day, super bright. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I last left you all at Choto Mate. I had dinner with a friend and it was amazing. The food there is so good and the vibes are great. Uh, it usually turns up like Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights. Um, it was a Monday night when we went. So it was pretty mellow, but it's super cute in there. Um, the bathroom is like glow in the dark. Um, there's four different kitchens because they have so many different like cuisines. Everything is delicious. And for dessert, I got churros with Nutella dipping sauce. Y'all, the way those were so good. <laughs> I've been watching um, on Netflix, The Brother's Son. 
And if you've watched it, you know that uh, the brother Charles, he goes to LA and eats a churro for the first time and like snaps because it's so delicious. So every time I watch that, I'm like, dang, I want churro. And they had them for dessert at that restaurant. So it was great, wonderful night. Something very odd happened that night as well. <laughs> Why is it that like, when you're like flourishing and you've like moved on, from like a certain person when you least expect it surprise they pop up and it's just like is this a test uh, like mm, why are you here like why are you back and i don't know if it's just a tourist thing but literally almost every guy i've ever dated has like uh, tried to spin a block on me several times and the thing about Taurus women is that when we're done, we're done. Like, and it takes a lot for us to be done. So once we get there, like, it's a wrap. But yeah, that was something odd that happened too. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm sure you guys can relate that. Just like when you least expect it, it's just like a, a beacon, like a sound that happens to your exes <laughs> when you have moved on and are blissfully happy um they want to pop back up and ruin your life and so yeah that was a little situation i had but i stuck to my guns and i didn't fall back into mess girl anywho we're up bright and early because today i scheduled um a peer space i'm going to level up my life and finally do some headshots which i've never done <laughs> i mean of course i have a ton of fashion photos that i can use but sometimes if i'm doing like a speaking engagement and such or if i'm submitting work um for written publications like uh i've done a few things for goodmorningamericaonline.com um like fashion stories and things and also i used to write for bustle mostly fashion related stories like i need professional photos and i'm definitely trying to get back in my writing bag you guys know Hopefully you've been reading the blog um, and my essays and such. And I want to get into freelance work for magazines. So I need some headshots. So I booked a pair of space over in Wynwood. Um, and I booked a makeup artist. Her name is Patricia and she's highly recommended here in the Miami area. I know she does uh, my good friend Cassidy's makeup quite often. And I met her before at the Zara's the zara store opening i vlogged that so maybe like two or two months ago um and she was good vibes so i have not had my makeup professionally done in like i want to say like five six years and i didn't particularly like it <laughs> so uh, hopefully this goes well because even if it doesn't i'm gonna have to take these photos of course, uh, Maria is coming. She's going to uh, take the photos for me. It should be a fairly like quick day. Um, and then I need to get a YouTube video up. But yeah, this is the look for today because right now it's like 58 degrees. I did not sign up for this, Miami. I signed up for like amazing, beautiful weather. But I guess it can't be hot all the time. But it was like 80 degrees one day and I went to the beach. But it's cold today. So we have on this sweater. I actually just got this sweater in from Source Unknown. It's the viral sweater. Y'all, I bought the sweater in every color they make it in. I bought it in black. I bought it in gray. I bought it in brown. And I bought it in off-white. And I, um, I ain't mad that I bought all of them because the sweater is sweatering. It's so good. It's only, it's like one size fits all and I'm normally a medium. So it kind of fits like a large on me which I like because you can wear it kind of off the shoulder like this. You can wear it on the shoulder. You can wear it off both shoulders and it's just so cozy and warm and I love it. And I paired it with these Uniqlo tights. I told you guys several times that Uniqlo heat tech tights are the best tights in the world. They're not see-through. They actually do keep you warm. They cost a little bit more than those little like 10, $14 ones at Forever 21 that only last one month and one wash these are the best leggings in the world especially if you're going like skiing or someplace super super cold or you want to layer them under your jeans and such i'll link them down below i'm i wear a medium in them but 
all I do is I buy two pair. They last me the entire year, y'all. Um, so I'll link those. And I think I'm going to wear, wait, I haven't even showed these to you guys yet. One moment. Okay, guys. So in the last video or the last vlog, I went to the Dion Lee store opening in Miami Design District. And I actually met Dion. And Dion is fine. Okay. Dion is fine. Yeah, and a lot of you noted that. I mean, he's a very attractive man. Anywho, he's also a super talented designer as well and very gracious and super nice. But I ended up buying a pair of shoes. Um, I tried them on at the very end of the video, so if you weren't paying attention, you probably didn't see them. But I will share them with you all because they are super cool. Um, these are, um, my goodness. These are like sock booties come with a Dion Lee dust bag. How freaking cute. Ugh. They are a vibe, no? I love them. So like this portion is a sock. And then we have this portion that's leather. It's like a square toe. The heel is not too high. I hope you all are able to see it, but I'm probably just gonna pop these on and do like an all black look. As you can see, your girl is makeup free. Mm-hmm. And the skin is skinny. So yeah, I'm makeup free. I'm wondering, I mean, are you supposed to bring your own makeup when you get your makeup professionally done? I don't know what I should do. Um, I probably will bring my foundation. I mean, I feel like she'll have it, but I don't know. Like, how does this work? Anywho, oh, you guys. As you can see, my hair was like in a twist out puff earlier. Um, but last night I washed my hair and I did a slick low bun. Now here is the tea. If you are a natural gal, you probably used to use eco styling gel for your slick low buns. They changed the formula. I'm just now realizing it because like the last couple of times I use eco styling gel to slick. Y'all saw my, the texture of my hair. It's about, it's something in the force. Okay. I have, my hair is coily, not curly. Um, it was not working. It was not holding and it was very disappointing. And I kept buying like different kinds thinking like maybe it's just me. No, eco styling gel, they changed their formula a, like years ago. Um, not years, maybe like a year and a half ago. So no need in buying Eco Style Gel anymore. The formula does not work. It will not make your hair do this if you have um, very curly, coily, 4C hair. Um, so I was Googling, looking up what, what the girlies were using because if you're not using the Eco Style Gel, like what is y'all using out there? Because I need something that's going to hold my hair and lock it and make it hard, okay? And like, it needs to stay like this until I wash it out. And I was Googling and I came across this product. And let me tell y'all, the way my hair has never, Eco Styling Gel has never, could never, the slickness, like this hair is not going nowhere. Let me show you. Okay natural gals and gals who want us do you see this there's not one hair standing up it's this um this is this is called gorilla snot gel and apparently it's for children <laughs> to do spikes in their hair but this is incredible this is amazing and it smells good too but it is kind of yellow and kind of like drippy like it's, it's, it's like snot almost, <laughs> but the hold on this is amazing. Now I got this three for three, three for the price of one. And this is huge. Like this will last me probably a year. This one, this one thing I got this on Amazon. It came in a day. Um, I did it on wet hair. I literally parted it, took a whole bunch of this, slick this. Slick that, took a brush, brushed it down, and put it into a little ball, put a scarf over my head, went to sleep, woke up, 
and my goodness like this hair is not going nowhere and the eco styling gel has never got it like this slicked down before i'm telling you guys i'm a believer this is my new zhuzh i mean i don't know if it's good for your hair i have no idea i just needed something very much something that was gonna create a slick low bun um and this is amazing Oh, it says it doesn't damage the hair. But I think this is made in Mexico. <laughs> Just know that it works. If you have coily, coily, coily hair and Eco Styling Gel used to really slick your hair and hold it. I'm talking about crunch hold until you wash it out. This is great. Okay, so I will link this down below. It is again called Gorilla Snot Gel. <laughs> Let me show y'all what it looks like. Hopefully I don't, I don't get it everywhere. Can you see it? So it's like a little bit yellow. It does smell good. But the yellow color is just uh, like coloring. It smells great. And it even got like the little baby hairs on my neck. Y'all like <laughs> this is the best gel in the world. So if you were looking for an alternative because the goat that used to be Eco Styling Gel decided to change their formula. Um... <laughs> probably just to market to a different type of hair texture because it does not work. It's like super water based now. Um, and I think they took the alcohol out of it and changed a few other molecules and elements. And it's just not giving the same kind of hold anymore. So if you've been wondering why, it's because they changed their formula. And this is what I've now replaced my Eco Styling Gel with. Um, it is water based. And it does have alcohol in it. But there are very few ingredients, which is good. Um, and the last ones are like green eight and yellow six to make the color. Um, but it doesn't go on like green. It literally dries clear. So that's tea. Like, look at this. Y'all saw how curly my hair was the other day. Look at this slick hold. Anywho, it, it works. Get it down below. Use my link too, y'all. So that's that on that. I'm about to get myself together, pack up all of the outfits, and head on over to the peer space, meeting my makeup artist and Maria there. We're leveling up our lives, okay? We're leveling up in every way. We're gonna be on our professional ish and also it'll be great for me to have like professional photos before fashion week starts so i can kind of update my email um footer there's a picture of me and my email footer also my google image i want to update that one as well i want to update the one here on this channel and all of my social media so i just need a, some cohesive very professional photos so that's what we're going for um, I'm not going to put on any makeup, but I am going to bring, is this the one I use? No. I'm going to bring my Beauty Counter Skin Twin. This is my favorite, favorite foundation. It goes on like skin, y'all. Um, but I'm going to bring this one just in case she needs like something to blend for my color. And I wear color 550 for winter and 560 for summer. Um, the 560 is a little bit deeper, but I have these little plastic bags I can take it in. So this is all I'm going to bring, I think. I don't think I'm going to bring anything else. And I'm also maybe going to let her do my lashes. Now, I normally don't wear lashes because I'm normally like allergic to glue. But that was maybe like six years ago, so that I had them so I'm gonna try again and like see but if not I'm taking them things right off after <laughs> after the shoot um but hopefully my makeup lasts so that I can do like a sit down video later on today I want to do um five like under the radar brands to know for 2024 and have such good ones and then I have usually pieces from all of the brands so yeah gonna be a great day <laughs> um i'm late so let's go all right guys here is the look wearing this source unknown sweater my unique low heat tech leggings 
And my brand new Dion Lee like sock sandals. I love them. They are super comfortable and the heel is not that tall. It's about maybe two inches. Uh, and then of course I have my cow pack marble luggage. I'll link the luggage down below. And then my favorite little Reeve ghost tote, which has my laptop in it and like uh, jewelry and then like little props like my Louis Vuitton agenda and a book <laughs> and uh, yeah, like cups and things that I might use as props. So I'm gonna go ahead and call my Uber and head to Wynwood. Let's go. I made it to this to the pier space it's in the same building um, where I shot the collection for hoop mob Monroe steel earrings um, I really like it because the light in these places are really good they have a bunch in this same building so I'll be sure to link this place down below but I love there's I love that there's tons of little areas to shoot so I'll do a quick tour and then my makeup artist is here, so we'll get started. The whole crew is here. Hey. Maria's yeah. back there. And uh, we'll do a little behind the scenes. And then we'll get into the shoot. But this space is cute. I like it. Day and I just got a brand new sew in. Um, I got a, it a little longer this time and more layers. So this will be my look for New York Fashion Week. I still wanted my hair out. I didn't want braids, um, but I didn't want my natural hair because I didn't want to be manipulating it so much. So I decided to get another sew in. 
and I'm loving it. Ah! My girl Brittany came over and she did this super quick install for me. It looks super natural. It just looks like my hair blown straight. In fact, a lot of it is my hair. Boop. Anywho, I haven't been able to show you guys what I'm packing for New York Fashion Week and I know that's why you're here. You want to see the looks. I am not trying anything on, but I'm going to show you the outfits and a few new pieces that I've gotten in. Um, so that if you want to shop them before I take professional photos in them and drop them on the gram and everything sells out, hopefully you can get a visual of how the things look in your mind. I'll try to include uh, product pictures so that once you see it on me, it's going to sell out. So... I don't want to actually try it on and show you guys the looks because then that kind of takes away when you see it when I actually wear it like for real for real so let me just show you my rack okay so here is my rack and I'm gonna go through just a few new items first up is this faux leather bomber jacket from NA-KD naked um, this was on sale for like 40 bucks <laughs> for real for real and I wanted this color like hunter green bomber jacket ever since I saw Tracy Ellis Ross in one and I was like I gotta do it y'all know that's that's my that's my fashion icon um and it was such a good deal it has little drawstrings on it it's very very puffy has a zip a silver zip um yeah on each side it has these little pulleys so you can make it more of a bubble coat but she's fabulous guys she is fabulous she does have pockets as well like look at how plush this is this i could probably try on for y'all but i have a look in my head that i'm gonna rock this with for new york fashion week i have a pair of brown boots and the heel is this color and they are fire and i think it would look so bomb with like a long maxi skirt those brown boots with a heel that matches this and like a brown bag. She is fire. Uh, if I can find that picture of Tracy, I'll pop it up so you guys can kind of see the inspo. But I can't believe this was less than $50 and it came super quick. I love NA-KD, one of my favorite places to shop. Um, do I have any other new outerwear like coats? I don't think so. I think you guys know I have my Frankie shop coats. Um, they're all in New York, so I don't need to bring those. But I'm definitely bringing my Saint Laurent uh, leather jacket. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Meshki has a incredible dupe of this jacket. It's almost like the same jacket. Of course, it's not going to be this supple. But the jacket looks so similar. So I'll be sure to link this one and the Meshki one. Now, let's see. Denim, of course, I'm bringing my favorite pair of Margiela Slash jeans. These are the jeans that are everywhere. I find that you can get them for um, a little bit of a discount on satire.com. So I'll link these down below. I'll link the ones on satire because they seem to be the most affordable. I wore these recently to the Dion Lee store opening here in Miami Beach if you watched the previous vlog. Now, I am, I want to do some more dressy looks with trousers. I feel like trousers are going to be a huge trend for 2024. But I have these gray pleated super long trousers. Who are these by? Are these Joseph? No, these are by Altazura. Yeah, these are from Altazura. They are super long i mean can you just imagine these with like even that green bubble coat and a super pointy heel because they're so long and kind of flared and just giving that effortless city chic look i love these look at the pattern on them i got these from uh my teresa i'll be sure to link them but i'm i'm in the mood for a good trouser so much so that i really wanted a pinstripe trouser and i couldn't find them and I got these from Norma Kamali. Now, Norma Kamali, when it comes to basics and the price of those basics, Norma knows 
what she's doing. So I saw these pinstripe pants on a model online and I thought that they were actually like a thick material, the same as these Altazuras. They aren't, they're like <laughs> stretchy. They're almost like a, a legging, um, which makes them even freaking cooler. There's a hidden zipper on the side, but I freaking love these pants. And again, I, if I can find the model modeling these, I'll, I'll pop it up. But even this with that green uh, puff, puffer coat, or even my Saint Laurent jacket with like a super pointy heel or boot, fire. So we have these, these are new in from Normal Kamali. They're actually pretty affordable, so I will link them. I went with the medium, the medium fits perfect. Now, I love a denim moment. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear all of these things for New York Fashion Week, but these are the things that I'm planning to wear for Fashion Month. So during New York for events, for fashion shows, as well as during Paris Fashion Week for events and shows. She is gorgeous. This, I need to zipper up so you can like hopefully get the full effect. This is the Ronnie Kobo denim, fully denim dress, but it's made like a, a billowy top. So the top is kind of puffy and like very like 80s. And the bottom is like a super tight pencil skirt, um, but it's all connected. It's all one piece. You can belt it. It has buttons as well as a zipper. And I wish you could see just how oversized these sleeves are. They're very much giving like 70s. And she's a bop. And I'm so glad I read the reviews for this. I'm normally a medium. I have to get this in a large. It runs so small, especially on the bottom. Like if you have any kind of booty or some hips, you gotta size up a whole size in this. Um, now they do have a dupe of this at Target. It's not as deep as this blue, and it's not as heavy and weighty, of course. This is Ronnie Kobo, so it's gonna cost you. Um, I got this from Revolve. But they do have a similar one at Target that's like, uh, like a huge deal right now, so I'll link that one as well. But if you like the look of the original from Ronnie Kobo, like, my goodness. This thing is heavy. It's hard for me to hold it up that long. So that's that. I have just a few skirts. One is from my own collection with something by Sanji. Of course, this is the Slate Maxi skirt in black. It's the cargo um, skirt with the pockets and the belt with the matching little baby cargo pocket um, with gold zipper down the front. I think this would be so bomb with like some black stiletto boots and then the sheer top that we also created to go with this look. Uh, I have a few events where of course, I mean it's Black History Month so <laughs> I'm gonna wear black designers. I'm also gonna wear my own designs. So yeah, this would definitely make it to New York Fashion Week. Not sure what events but it's such a beautiful skirt. Um, it's we still have quite a few in fact they might even be on sale because Sanji and I are having a black history month sale I think it's gonna be the last week of February so this may be on sale uh, check something by Sanji website there's a link down below all of our uh, pieces go up to a size 3 XL as well I'm wearing a medium and everything Sanji wears a small and everything but yeah she's she's gonna be worn I got a new skirt in from Manier Devoir. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I, I'm pronouncing it the way it is, Manier, Manier Devoir. One of my new favorite brands, I got this cargo skirt because I needed a neutral cargo skirt. I do have one that's like a caramel brown from our own collection, but I wanted it like a white one. And this is denim or maybe it's cotton. But it's so good it has the drawstrings on the sides and I could just see myself wearing this with a cute like booty um, and maybe pairing it with this like uh, a booty maybe a fitted hat in the same color girl but I am shooting for warmth because it's cold in New York <laughs> it's cold and I don't want to be that cold 
So I did get a series of sweaters. I feel like I don't have enough sweaters. This one is new in from and other stories. It is a cream, super fluffy. I love the drop sleeve and how like billowy it is. Just toss it on. Oh, it's so soft and it doesn't shed, which is great. Super thick and would just look great with like a pair of mom jeans, some boots, throw one of my Frankie shop uh, trench coats over top and it's a bop. Also, let me close this door. I feel like it's distracting. I also got three sweaters from Source Unknown. This is the viral sweater that everybody and their mama got, but now I got them too. <laughs> it's that beautiful, rich, thick, ribbed knit, kind of like off the shoulder sweater. I got it in a beautiful gray. This is one size fits all. Um, I got it in gray. <laughs> I got it in black. Oh, the black one is so rich. Stunning. You would have seen me wear this earlier in the vlog, but I got it also in a heather gray, and I also got it in a chocolate brown. I'm on a brown kick right now, but how stunning. Now, I'm thinking of pairing this with like some brown stirrup leggings, brown boots, a brown coat, and a brown bag. I mean, it's a lot of brown, but... Just look, oh, I cannot wait. Now, I just didn't really like like layering clothes, but from living in Miami, I, I gotta get my winter fits off. Like I'm, I have the vision, so I'm excited. So I got all of these. This does come in another color. I think it's like an oatmeal kind of cream. That's the only one I didn't get. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna get that one too. Uh, but I feel like this and other stories one, is very similar and a lot more affordable than the Source Unknown sweater. I got a few dresses. You know what? I'm not gonna show y'all those just yet. But I do have a few dresses. I am probably gonna take this dress from Laquan Smith. I think if I do a dinner, a night out with the girls or something more of a night out that's fun type of event. There are some store openings I might hit up. This would be like a fun dress to wear with like a long or a tall black boot and a, a black duster, you know, a little extra. I got this from my Teresa. It does also come in a bodysuit. I feel like the bodysuit is a vibe as well. Um, I am going to take my Fumi the Label Red dress because I feel like this is a pop of color that's fun but also winter appropriate for any like parties and events. Um, I'm pretty much finalizing my New York Fashion Week schedule now and I have a lot of events. Beauty events, like fashion panels and talks and chats, um, dinners, I have a ton of dinners. Um, which I'm actually looking forward to. I do have quite a bit of shows as well, but the, the few days leading up to the actual New York Fashion Week, when the shows start, there are like uh, events packed into the days. So make sure starting tomorrow, after you watch this video, which will be a Monday, you watch my stories because I'm going to story in real time every day, everything I'm doing. Um, as soon as I touch down in New York, I have a, I have a fitting. And so I'm gonna take you guys with me on stories. So if you wanna really keep up and not have to wait a week for the video, follow me on Instagram at Monroe Steel. There is a link to my Instagram down below. Just click it, give me a follow, and watch my stories because that's where the tea is gonna be. Okay, uh, for more dresses, I am going to like a black tie event. And I'm thinking this beautiful fringe, raffia fringe dress from age will be perfect. I have like the perfect jacket, I have the perfect shoes, the perfect bag with this hair like up in the little chignon with some tendrils coming down and beautiful bold gold earrings. Uh, this will be perfect. I have some really great events. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm gonna wear this for an event on my schedule. This dress, please go and buy it now, okay? I know y'all want to see it on, but trust me, this dress is going to sell out. I saw this dress on any, 
she looks stunning she had the dress in black i've also seen it on uh gosh why can i think of her name her name used to be hello october it's she changed it to her real name now here on youtube but she has it in cream and i had to get this i had to get this dress this is from house of cb it is not ironed it is not let me tell you i got it in a medium regular they also have like petite um the medium fits me absolutely perfectly you can go with your normal size you guys, this dress is stunning on. Please believe me. Please look at the photos. The material is slightly stretchy, but like very well made. There's a hidden zipper up the back. It is a mini dress. It has pockets. It fits you like this. It's so stunning. I got it in navy blue and I also got it in the cream. I could not not get it. I know once this dress sells out, this is gonna be like one of those moments. I have a dress from ASOS, it's like green. Every time I wear it, people are like, oh my God, oh my God, this dress. I got that dress in every single color because I knew that dress. I knew it then that it was gonna be a bop and be in my wardrobe over and over. I can wear it so many ways. People, it's always gonna be a complimentary, beautiful dress. This is that dress for, CB, for uh, House of CB. Trust me, it also comes in black. The black is sold out right now. If you don't get anything from this video, you're looking for the perfect occasion dress. Just a little mini that's still chic and sophisticated. You can wear it with a little black tight, a little sheer tight. In the winter, bare leg in the spring and summer. This is a this is a year round dress. It's nice and weighty. Uh, I got both of these in a medium regular. And it's not too short on me either. I'm five foot six, six inches tall beautiful dresses please do not wait to see me with it on because it's gonna be gone i'm telling you she's a bop i will link her down below house of cb came right on through uh okay that's all i'm really gonna show you guys i mean i got a little hat too but i just got my hair curled so we're not gonna mess her up just yet but yes, that is what I plan on bringing. Most of my winter items are already in New York. I have a few sweaters and things here, but I think I'm gonna show these in another video. I wanna do a sit down video on like the top five brands to follow in 2024, like newer, fresher brands that are affordable, that aren't just designer brands. Definitely wanna bring you guys more content like that. But I have my bags here as well. I just did a bag video, but she's coming with my YSL lunchbox. Of course, bringing my new Chanelica pyramid bag from 2018, Carl Lagerfeld, and my Dior pony. By the way, I found a very similar bag to this, but it's like a bucket or like a like a rectangular bag by Christian Louboutin on the real real for 600 I think it was $600 if you're following me on stories every week now I'm just going to share my favorites from the real real because the last time I did it which was an actual uh, partnership with the real real everything I linked sold everything and people are like do you have any other picks of course I have, a, I have a folder full of favorites on the real real that I'm not gonna buy so hopefully you guys love it Today on my stories, I linked 12 bags, most of them, almost all of them under $1,000 from Fendi, Dior, uh, all the brands. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because my stories usually gets the T first, unfortunately. Also, uh, my broadcast channel, The Monroe Show. But yeah, she's definitely coming um let me show you what else i'm packing as far as shoes now most of my winter shoes are already in new york so i have these boots which are i believe they're called the rue knee-high boots from michael kors these were on sale for a long time i love the shape the shape of them is just so sexy and they're actually very very comfortable they have a hidden inside zipper they're pretty wide calf friendly as well, but I love these boots. So these are coming with 
I'm also bringing these boots, which I actually forgot I got these. These are from Paris, Texas, and I got them from my Teresa. How good is that heel? The heel is giving, it's giving like Isabel Morant, to be honest. But they're, they're beautiful, they're buttery, they're soft, and they're just kind of like, Mm, can you see them with like a good maxi skirt or even a mini skirt with some sheer leggings and like a long duster? Girl, does this match? Almost. Mainly I got these to wear with my high heel Timbaland boots. If you know, you know. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. But these are Paris, Texas. I believe these are on sale. And any other boots? Oh, I'm bringing my favorite YSL pumps. These are the mesh pumps. And even though it's winter time, I feel like the fact that you can still see the toe, there's something sexy about that. Of course, I can still wear these with tights, which I have done before, but these are very comfortable and super sexy. Love these. Uh, these are still available, so I'll link them down below. I'm wearing them in a 42. I'm a US size 10. So for any of like my super dressy, um, cocktail, black tie looks, these are probably the shoes I'm gonna wear. Of course, <laughs> y'all know what's in the pink bag, and if you don't know, it's Scaparelli. I'm definitely bringing my scaps. These have to make an appearance. I'll probably wear them with black tights and like a leather mini skirt, long black trench coat, turtleneck girl Boop. I got these from Bergdorf's my girl Jerry she is the best sales associate in the world there hooked me up with these and I'm a, I'm in love I'm obsessed they do come with a bow I'm not taking the bow like these are edgy and the bow just makes it too cute so I want to leave the bows here so that's what I'm taking for shoes I also want to show you guys sunglasses. All right, guys. Oop. All right, guys. So I have a few accessories that I can show you. I kind of narrowed down what I'm bringing. I'm going to bring my vintage Chanel belt. I ha I've had this belt for years. And it's time to pull her out and stunt. <laughs> it's been a minute. And I I've only managed to find like one of these online. But this is my vintage Chanel chain belt from, I, is it from 1993? Oh wait, it's in here, I can tell you. Yeah, it's from the 1993 Spring Collection Chanel. There's like a stamp here. But they don't make Chanel like this no more. But it's time, it's time for me to bust her out. She's gorgeous. Look at the detailing on that, like, ugh. Chanel got to get back to the old ways of things because their old products are the ones I love. So bringing that belt to wear with any looks. I'm going to bring these sunglasses from Gucci. I've had them for forever, but I like the brown. I'm doing a lot of brown looks. Uh, Gucci knows how to make a sunglass. This little addition here is actually from ASOS. And it's just a little rubber thing that I added to it. If I can find any of these, I'll link them. A box. So these are going. I also have this other pair of Gucci sunglasses that I got. And I just feel like with this hair, big sunglasses work the best. Although I probably will do some, you know, updos as well and hats too but this hair gives like a housewife and so i need big sunglasses but love these yeah if i can find them for you i'll link them uh of course i'm bringing these are probably my favorite sunglasses my saint laurent because they have red at the top and gold on the side and i always love to do a red lip and so these pop i usually wear these at the airport you know these are my my hater blockers they're fire i'll link them 
When I wear a red lip, I like to wear these. These aviators are from, are these from, Anth no, Free People? I've had them for a minute. I just love the shape. They're green. You, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. It's gonna be a moment, you guys. Excited for the fashion like I'm excited also I'm makeup free so sorry if I look a little dead okay and then this these are my and other story sunnies 30 bucks Celine dupes take these with me everywhere I go they just fit my face the best and then of course I have to bring the Bottega sunglasses I don't think these are available anymore there are a ton of dupes out there, but if you're looking for the originals, I think they're gone. But I've had these ever since they very first came out. You know, we love a clear lens. We like to see each other's eyes. Um, taking my Celine's that I picked up at Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris on the way back from Paris Fashion Week last season. It's giving a Leah. I want you to rock the boat, rock the boat. Can you guys believe that song is 30 years old? Was it that song that's 30 years old? That's, or 20. Either way, it's crazy. Time be flying. And we love, we love. Those are Celine. And then I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere out of these because I don't think it's gonna be sun like that. But just in case, I'm taking these Chanel sunglasses. I got these last year towards the end of the summer the little visor i feel like these are more like summer sunglasses but i mean you never know you never know we need to block a hater uh let's see we also have these which are kind of similar to the celine's but these are versace versace and currently they're on sale everywhere but these give more like 90s vibes. And I like that. I love that for us. So those are all of the sunglasses I'm taking. And I think that's about it. I want you guys to be surprised when I wear the looks. And I want you to actually like watch the videos. So I'm not going to dress it up for you. But you see the mix of things that I'll be wearing. And hopefully you'll tune in to the New York Fashion Week vlog. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for what I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. Um, in the next video, you'll see more of me putting the outfits together. Make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see how I put everything together. But I've linked everything down below. I've, I'll even link the things that I haven't shown you. That way you have an advantage to buying the things before I wear them and they sell out because that's what tends to happen. I got a little gift from YSL Beauty. They sent over their new, like, well, <laughs> I took it out already. But how cute is this box? I'm gonna use this as like a travel box. It almost feels like leather. But they sent over this new mascara. It is stunning. I love, is it upside down? Oh, so nice. Look how thick this is. I kind of want to try it, even though I'm makeup pre. Let's see. Ooh, it goes on nice. Okay. I like it. Mm. All right, YSL, come through. I'll link this down below in case any of you are interested. But that's going to be it for this vlog because I got to get my nails done. I also need to send these videos off to my editor. They're late. Um, and I also need to pack. <laughs> and I need to clean my house because I don't like coming back from traveling to a dirty house. So I hope this all gave you some, in some inspo. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really love the thumbs up. Um, let me know down in the comments if it's just me that the ex has tried circle the block on multiple times. 
I would like to think it's just because it's, I'm wonderful and not that men are just lazy. <laughs> but that might be it. I mean, it's hard out here. You know, trying to get to know a whole new person and everything when you can just deal with somebody you already know their vices and things. But I feel like this always happens to me. You know, I'm, I've leveled up my life. I am blissfully happy. And here, here, here one of them come. Just ready to... Shit all over it. <laughs> I was trying to look for another word. There is no other word. But yeah, I think I dodged the bullet. So growth. I'm 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 grown. Sometimes I'll just entertain mess just simply because I'm bored. <laughs> Which is horrible. Because that's not sending a good signal to the universe that, hey universe, I'm actually, you know, looking for something special. Because I'm not just gonna entertain mess. Sometimes I'm just bored. I'm like, you know what? Let me just, I'll ruin his life. He'll ruin my life for, you know, two months until I'm bored and then I move on to the next thing. But no, growth, growth. I hope we're growing together. But yes, if you enjoyed the video, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe, or check and make sure you are subscribed because y'all know how YouTube do. And uh, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. All right, you guys. The next video, I think, will be a sit-down video, and then we will kick off the New York Fashion Week videos, which are usually my most watched. So, I usually do two New York Fashion Week videos, but I find that only one of them is watched a lot, and the other one isn't. So, I think I'm just going to do one video. I'm going to really, really try and condense it to just show you the, the, the vibes. Or you guys let me know, do you want two videos? Do you want like pre-New York Fashion Week with just the events and then Fashion Week with just the shows or do you just want one condensed, quick and to the point video? Let me know in the comments and we'll go with that. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Everything you have seen below in this video is linked down below in the description bar. Uh, check out my blog, Fashion Steel NYC. I'm back on my writing chops. I put a blog post out every Monday. Follow me on Shop LTK. I don't talk about this enough, but I am a part of that network uh, with Rewara Style, or Like to Know It, where I post all of my outfits thing and things I'm loving, home decor, almost every single day. Um, it's Shop LTK, Monroe Steel. Follow me there if you have the app. If not, just save the URL and check it every day. Um, because I've literally linked everything I've ever worn there already. So if you're looking for a link to something, chances are it's already there. And you don't have to come and try and look through the YouTube video description box to find it. Um, and then also, if you're subscribed to me on there, every time I post something, it goes to your email. So you can keep up with the links that way. Most of your favorite fashion influencers are on there as well. You can follow all of them. So it's a really good tool to have if you're looking for recommendations frequently. Yeah, so follow me on there and all the other places too. Sorry for rambling. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.